Y'all asked, and we found the best of the best pointy objects. But comment what we should find and curate next. So let's check it out. You can finally be proud about the tiny tool in your pants and even show off how fast it is too. At about the size of your index finger when fully erect, it's the definition of a small but mighty. And one of the few times that size doesn't really matter because although it is tiny, I mean average size for most of you, it utilizes a thick AF G10 handle giving it the girth you can feel in the hand while still being as compact as an AirPods case. So it easily fits on your keychain without looking out of place, but then whoopam. Like my nickname in high school, I wasn't called Speedy for nothing. And the spring-loaded deployment lets you instantly access your tool without any struggle. Plus, the 440 carbon stainless steel may sound like something Iron Man's suit is made of, but it's actually less likely to rust, easy to sharpen, and just durable overall. Passing my scientific drop test without opening on its own, yet still being able to in a jiffy when you actually need it. The G10 combined with the rest of the build quality feels sturdy without any loose parts, so you can feel confident tossing this into your pocket without having to worry it will get excited on its own. We smacked this bad boy around like you would on a daily basis and was still able to complete all our chores as if it's brand spanking new. Plus that blackout finish, come on. If you're curious how it compares to the rest of their lineup, it's basically a simplified version of the Blitz with a thicker handle while being slightly larger than their B2 for better ergonomics. This is something you can take with you anywhere just in case because it's so damn cute that everyone will want to play with it too. And play you will, because it's addictive how fidgety it is. So toss it onto a zipper or clip it onto your bag. This may be the perfect complement to any Blackout collection. Link and details down below. Now for what I deem a medium sized tool and what feels like what a teenager sized blade would look like, the Griffin Scout F2 is, well, two inches. Not large by any means, but definitely not tiny either. A good middle ground for someone who orders a lot of Amazon packages because cardboard is basically butter to this blade. However, I really just picked this one for its looks as most blades can cut like this one, but none can slay like this one can. The lines, shapes, and textures feels like a tool an assassin would have hidden in a sock or something. Reliable, sleek, and sharp AF. The hidden lanyard pin is also very appreciated as it doesn't take away from the aesthetics, but combine it with one of their glow in the dark beads, game changer. Not only does it give you an extra grip, it makes it personal and one you can call your own. It feels great in the hand even when closed and something you just wanna show off to others. Now the front flipper does take a little practice to perfect, but oh boy, does it feel wicked when you do. The blacked out drop point tip is proportioned perfectly with a pocket clip that will most definitely rip up your pants for how tight it keeps it in place. I've got the DLC black version, so it does chip away over time, but honestly, it looks even better with a few Amazon box battle scars. This is the magnet cut version, and if you're like me and don't really care about that, just know this blade can cut. When it comes to large knives though, my preference goes to ones that don't look like it's some sort of mini axe. And the arc form slim foot does that perfectly by keeping a slim and sleek profile, but measuring in at eight inches long overall. So yeah, it's really comfortable to use thanks to the handle itself being more than half of that. Combined with the chamfered edges and just the feeling of nothing but steel in the hand, this can cut. With almost zero resistance and borderline looks like a mini folding samurai blade. When closed, unlike other Kirby knives, this one has a rectangular design, sort of like holding a Pez canister with minimal textures that complement the large flat surfaces and even the pocket clip, while deep and stiff, is comically tiny compared to the rest of the body, yet works really well keeping it in place, even if it means dragging your pockets down two inches with what feels like a mini butcher knife. The flipper tab makes it easy to deploy one-handed still, and the frame lock makes it just as easy to put away when done. Plus, while I love the smooth titanium blacked out finish, I also picked up their textured G10 handles, and it basically feels feels like a completely different knife. The slim footprint gives it a manageable weight and there's just something about flipping open something this large, which makes you feel like you mean some serious business. For context, here it is beside my iPhone 15 Pro and it's just about as thick as a AA battery. It pokes a little out of my hand when held shut. This one isn't for the faint of heart, 
because when you pull this out, someone might actually faint. I'm one that can appreciate a really cool fixed blade, but would never actually carry one. So I had to find one that I could confidently recommend that looks, feels, and works like one without actually dealing with carrying a giant pouch or looking like Indiana Jones on the daily. In comes the Berg Blade Bottle Butcher. And like the name suggests, it's a tiny butcher blade that also opens bottles, a double win. It's half as thick as an AirPods case and just about as long as one too. So yeah, this isn't winning any Grammys for ergonomics, but to expect that would be missing the point as you should first and foremost see this as a bottle opener that just so happens to be shaped like a blade, all while looking like a toy that you pull from a Kinder Surprise or something. Thankfully, the provided sheath includes a cutout for the bottle opener, so it doesn't even look like a blade to begin with. And you can string this around your neck for what may be the coolest piece of jewelry you'll ever own. You would never expect a blade to be hidden inside here. Yet this credit card shaped tool not only safely stores inside a sleeve pocket, but may be the slimmest, sharpest, and overall coolest one to whip out and use. The Joe Knives Lynx is actually smaller than a standard credit card, about as thick as two stacked together, and its whole edge is sharpened to become a little less than a three and a half inch long blade, which to think it came from my wallet is insane. Utilizing a chisel grind straight edge, a fancy way of saying it's sharpened on one side only, so it makes it possible to shave, slice, and chop really well and surprisingly very straight too. The magic is in the cheese grinder looking handle, each hole giving your fingers to grip onto something, and given it's just one solid piece of metal, it's one less thing to have to worry about. The included sheath may look simple, but feels like a thick cardboard like paper and keeps the sharp edge from opening a new pocket in your wallet, but also, this is one of those novelty blades that no one else you know would have, making it the perfect gift for that someone who has everything. Now, when strumming around empty streets, I need to make sure I've got all my goods. The Orbigear S101 Morph is like if a shopping bag actually got infected by the shrooms and tripled in size. So the question isn't what can it fit, it's what can't it fit. Hence why I'm carrying the K-Bar Becker Tack Tool, designed for your mundane garden work, but also perfect for slicing up some mushrooms, if you know what I mean. Seriously, this can clear out any passage, but let's be real, even in an apocalypse, you'll still need something to open your Amazon packages to. Win-win. Like me, it's chunky and measures in at seven inches long, which also doubles as a scraper with its flat edges, a pry when you just need that sugar fix, and a rope cutter that honestly just gives the design some real attitude. Everything about it is super sized, which the ladies know just feels way better in the hand anyways. So yeah, I would count on this to get the job done, whether it's shaping my tomato tree or making sure I defeat the boss level with enough quarters to spare. Look, I make a lot of jokes about tiny objects, but I think I finally found one small enough that you can relate to. So small in fact, it fits on my watch strap. This is the edc knife a concept brought to reality recently on Kickstarter, and I can't believe it wasn't invented sooner. The frame is 3D printed and fit exactly to whatever band size you have, and the blade actually stays clicked in place, making it instantly accessible when needed. And trust me, don't let the size of it deceive you. It's come in handy so many times, not only for its cutting abilities, but the fact it also doubles as a scraping pry tool too. However, let's be real, as it is limited given its size, but it is a solid piece of metal, and can get some real work done on the fly. Rope candy, and even arts and crafts have no issues. Plus, with a little extra effort, you can also cut through some pretty thick cardboard too. But honestly, this is mainly designed as a backup, something to ensure you've always got a tool on hand, literally on hand, and can trust to stick around even through my scientific shake tests. Obviously, this isn't something to go around bragging about, but you know how the saying goes. The smaller the tool, he must be really cool. Or at least that's what I tell myself in my head. Stored under that pocket with another pocket is the tool of choice, a Civivi Kai V Plus, which we featured its little brother in the past, but this one has a hint of carbon fiber and a whole lot of attitude to go with it. With one of the most unique blade shapes I've tested, a reverse tanto combined with a G10 handle and the carbon fiber accent, but it's this geometric design that really gets me going though. And don't worry, it does work as well as it looks too. With its Nitro V blade, while it's not top of its class, the long tip gives you plenty of room to slice through whatever you're working on, whether to break down tough boards or precisely cut through delicate cloth. This sharp tip is, 
well, on point. When unlocked and folded shut though, it feels comfortable in the hand without any sharp edges, all while just looking ready for some action at any moment's notice. My favorite feature definitely goes to the pointy tip though for that perfect origami session. The added details like the textured top and the notches on the flipper making it comfortable to actually use and the overall small and sleek design allowing you to whip it out and just go ham on all your Amazon packages. Comment down below what we should do next. Best sling bags or titanium EDC? But that's it. I rest my blackout knives.